Welcome to Oregon, where a Jamaican restaurant, Irie Jamaican Kitchen, prides itself on spreading Jamaican culture through food. And zooming in now to tell us about what inspired this culinary journey's owner, Barbara Adams. Hey, Barbara, good morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Thanks, Dahlia. Thanks for having us. All right. So tell me, Barbara, you're in Oregon and you just get up and say, Lord, I want some jerk chicken. I'm going to open a restaurant. <laughs> tell me, tell me. How did well, this start? Well, the story started with us wanting it. I wasn't much of a cook and my husband loves the cuisine. And so we would have traveled two hours to Portland to have it. And so after some time, we're like, why don't we bring this here to our city? Um, and so that's how the story started, how the business started. And we decided, you know, we're going to go for it. So it was um, well needed, of course. It's, it's a community that's not as diverse. And so bringing that to our um, local community was pretty exciting. That's what I wanted to ask you. Uh, in terms of diversity, are there a lot of Jamaicans in your community, African-Americans? Or, or, yeah, yeah, we're just 1% right now. The Jamaican, um, I would say, is very small, very limited, but we do have some. They came out when we started the kitchen and we're like, where were you guys? We didn't know you existed. <laughs> yes. So for us, it was it was awesome to see them. And then the African-American communities coming together slowly. Yes. that's See, that's the beauty of food. Food pulls us together. Um, yes. as, uh, yeah, collectively. So, so the restaurants there, one of the, 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 I guess the expectations, Barbara, is when we hear Jamaican restaurant, we want to make sure it, the Jamaican food is good on the menu. Tell me, you have mm -hmm. jerk chicken for sure. For sure, jerk chicken is our top seller. And we have curry chicken, brown stew chicken, braised oxtail with butter beans and spinners. And people are always curious, what is spinners? And, you know, <laughs> we tell them it's just dumpling. They're like, oh, um, we have curry goat, uh, a lot, uh, um, plantains, of course, that's pretty popular here. Yes. We do the spicy beef patties. We do sorrel for authentic drink, but yeah. we do offer DNG sodas also. And cocoa bread, not as often, but yes, we do cocoa bread too. So we have a little of everything, and yeah. it's amazing to see um, when people come who have been to Jamaica and enjoyed it, and they come and taste the food, and they're so excited, like it brought memories back. So, yeah. 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 One of the things I always notice, too, when I come to Jamaican restaurants, is not just the food, but the ambiance. Uh, we're hearing <laughs> reggae music. We're seeing the flag and, and picture. You feel like you're in Jamaica. Tell me about Irie Kitchen. When I come there, what am I going to see? So Irie Chicken probably, it's a food truck right now. Yeah. So we have a trailer. It's really, really, um, the design is beautiful. Nice. Um, and so when we are there, at least when I'm there, there's music normally. We have our reggae music going mostly um, because that's what it's all about. You know, the entertainment, not just the food, but the people, the conversation. Yeah. And we try to bring that. So for, for us, it's a family event, a family affair, but we do have... Um, um, some young ladies who are working with us right now and they're learning, they're talking to the, the customers about our cuisine as if they were brought up on it. So right. we're trying to share that culture, spread the word and, and, and keep that, you know, the image of Jamaica going. Right. You, you said food trucks. Uh, are, are you mobile? Do you move from place to place? Yes. Or, yes. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, That's so, so cool. for, for, for us now, it, it works well with the pandemic, you know, because we can get to different locations. We already serve to go, so it was quite easy for us to, you know, go through that period. Um, and so it, it, we go wherever the crowd wants us, you know, we do wineries, we do breweries, sports events. Um, so, yeah, parties of, you know, weddings, catering, that Anything you want, you call us, we'll be there. That's excellent, Barbara. For folks who are watching, um, who might be that one Jamaican in Oregon that's now saying, oh my gosh, there was Jamaican food out there. How do they find yeah. the Irie Jamaican Kitchen? So we're on social media. Our um, Facebook page is We're Bold Flavor, Flavor, 
got to keep that Jamaican twang. Bold Flavor Family and Friends Meet. Yes. Um, our Instagram page is Irie underscore Jamaican Kitchen. And then we have our website, which is IrieJamaicanCuisine.com. So, yeah, you can find us online. We try to keep our locations updated. Um, but a phone call away, you know, text or call, we're there for you. Awesome. Great meeting you, Barbara. Um, Thank you. Our, our, our Jamaican athletes are coming to blaze the, the track. And I know you're blazing. I will find that flag. I am expecting to see some of you guys coming over and checking us out. So <laughs> we're just happy to be there. Awesome. Owner of Irie Jamaican Kitchen, Barbara Adams. We're going to be right back after this break with more music from Andy Livingston. Stay with us. This will come.